Research has conclusively shown that going at least a week on retention can increase baseline testosterone by over 150%. But the unfortunate fact remains that in a world that's constantly tugging and triggering your desires, most men are not capable of stumbling far beyond the one or two week mark on their retention journey. This got me thinking, if science can lay bare the massive dividends of the retention discipline, perhaps it can also serve as a lighthouse of guidance on how to achieve this. My quest yielded results, and I've realized that taking a scientific approach to retention to truly understand your body is the best way to shoot way past the meager weeks and keep your masculine essence inside you for a very long time. If that sounds interesting, listen on as I reveal the most effective method of retention that most men aren't talking about. The philosophy of Taoism has taught us one thing, you cannot retain your vital life force inside you unless it is successfully channeled and transmuted somewhere else. And modern science backs this idea. In order to remain disciplined on retention, you cannot be a lazy slouch or inhabit the same dark corner of the room you did before. You need to learn how to drain yourself of energy by engaging in challenging physical ordeals. The easiest way to do this is to join the gym. Your body yearns for masculine energy to reverberate through it. And if you're not doing it through release, then you need to put your body through the satisfying and blood pumping hard work in the gym. Paradoxically, retention works best when your mind's focus is directed to anything but retention. It's like that old adage where if you ask someone not to think of a white elephant, all they'll think of is a white elephant. This is the psychological idea that applies here. Your mind needs to be too preoccupied with challenges, problems, and adventures in life that you forget the fact that you're on retention. You must have realized this in your life as well, because our thoughts of letting go into our desires crop up the moment we find ourselves alone and unjudged, not when we are in the outside world facing and solving problems. That is the state of mind you must embody every day in life. Here's a discipline that's not often talked about in the retention community. It refers to the abstinence of release without refraining from intimacy. This requires a deep understanding and control over your own body, because in most people's minds, PMO and release are linked. But with a degree of muscle control, they don't have to be. This is the cheat code in retention that most people don't tell you about, and is the reason why some men claim they can go months or even years without releasing their seed. To do this, you need to forge great control over the muscles in your pelvic area that help can help stop your release in its tracks. To train these muscles, you must find them. And the easiest way to do this is to stop urination midway and identify the muscles used for constriction. Once identified, you can train these muscles through exercise which will give you much greater control over your release than before. However, bear in mind that this requires a lot of practice and self-control, because this discipline separates release from climax. Most people as it is do not possess the amount of muscle control and mental fortitude needed to achieve this. But rest assured that any man capable of learning this has found a hack that he can use to lengthen his retention discipline indefinitely, helping him achieve a myriad of benefits as a result. But if this kind of energetic cultivation does not appeal to you and you prefer to not engage in intimacy or PNO at all, then that requires an even deeper scientific understanding of your body and lustful function. It is only after this understanding that you can hack the functionality of your body and use it to your advantage. Have you ever faced the predicament of being aroused but not wanting to release and relapse on your journey? It's one of the most uncomfortable experiences, and you probably think to yourself that you can pull through if only this painful sensation went away. This refers to the rushing and buildup of blood in your pelvic area as a result of lustful response. But that buildup only goes away after you have released your essence. If you've ever faced this, there's a way you can relieve the pain sensation without even needing to release. Scientists advise massaging the pelvic area gently to relieve the region of the extra blood. This will help soothe the sensation and make you feel more comfortable, while also allowing you to remain steadfast in your journey. But more than simply understanding your body, it is imperative that you understand your mind scientifically if you want to avoid falling into the same dark pit of the depletion lifestyle that you're trying to crawl out of. This means understanding that your innate desires are nothing to be ashamed of. But at the same time, they are demons that must be kept caged because they can wreck your life otherwise. Controlling your lustful desires means understanding the dynamic of hormones that drive you as a man. Not just testosterone, but the hormones of oxygen and dopamine are highly important in piecing together the complex puzzle of human lustful behavior. Most often, the depletion lifestyle is a result of seeking dopamine-inducing activities. This means that your life likely lacks much else that can give you the same level of fulfilling dopamine release as depleting your essence. 
If that sounds like you, understand that you need to give your mind a better way to release dopamine than engaging in this self-destructive activity. Engage in truly masculine activities that make you feel sure about yourself and don't leave you a guilt-ridden hollow shell of a man. Ascend in your life, career, finance, and relationships. Replace the lowly activity of depletion with a dopamine-inducing activity that is truly productive and worth it. Understand that giving in to your desires is a never-ending dark abyss that you will never escape. Your mind deep inside is run by ancient biochemical and evolutionary mechanisms that you must control, otherwise, they will control you. Just like a man's testosterone level can ruin his life by driving him to commit violence or crime, he can also use the same hormone to forge courage and build a life he can be proud of. The same goes for all other hormones like your dopamine and oxytocin levels. If you allow them to control you to seek pleasure like strings on a puppet, they will lead you down a path to self-destructive impulsive pleasure. If you use the dopamine mechanism to seek fulfillment from truly productive activities as a man, you will be on the path to the success you are destined for. But the fact is that most men do not possess the masculine vigor and discipline to carry through with these ideals. If you think you do, you are the kind of man we need in this growing community of high-value men. So like the video and hit the subscribe button to never miss another timely update. This is the masculine content you need. As always, stay strong and stay humble.